McKinley Joyce Rogers, you are the love of my life. You are more than I ever could have prayed for. Each and every day I wake up mesmerized by the love that you show me. There is nothing in this world that gives me happiness like your love. Growing up, people used to tell me all the time that God has a plan for you, and it is greater than any other plan that you could create in your own sinful mind. I always had trouble with that. I thought I knew what the perfect life would look like, but I look back at myself 10 years ago and think how basic my plans really were. God knew what I needed. From the foundation of this world, God knew that I needed the gospel. He knew that I would not be perfect and that I would need to be shown the unconditional love God has for me through his son who died to save me. God also knew that I needed a partner in life, someone to help my loneliness, someone to help me stay in line. God knew that I would have a couple wild hairs and that I'd not always be the brightest crayon in the box. God knew that I needed a helpmate and I praise him for giving me you, McKinley. God knew that if I didn't listen to him, well, I would certainly have to listen to my wife. So God created McKinley with a heart for the Lord and a little bit of heart for me. I thank God every day for giving you and I for me because without God's help, there would be no way I could score a beautiful woman like yourself. You are way out of my league. But here we are, God's perfect plan unfolding before our very eyes. And it's so much greater and more sweet than anything I could ever have imagined. McKinley Joyce Rogers, I will love you forever. I will lead us towards Christ the best I possibly can. I will make, wake up every morning and humble myself before God and before you so that God can mold me into his image. I will do my best to serve you and to die to my selfishness. I will love you, cherish you, and respect you each and every day we are blessed with on this earth. I will always stay faithful to you and to God. I will raise our children in a christ new home. I will never leave you because God commands me and also because I love you. I know we will not be perfect because we are both sinners, but in all my heart, I commit these things to you. I love you so much, McKinley Joyce Rogers, and I am so excited to marry you. I can't wait to see what God has in store for us. Forever my love, Barrett. When we met that night in the student union, I never could have imagined that in less than two years later, I'd be standing in front of you reading my vows to you. God has been so good and so faithful throughout our relationship, and I fully trust that he has brought us together to this point. You are so much more than I could have ever dreamed of or thought to pray for, and for that, I praise him. I fell in love with you the night that I realized how deep your love for Christ was and how strong your desire was for others to know him. It has been so easy to fall in love with you, and I knew I wanted to marry you before you even asked me to be your girlfriend. You have loved me so selflessly, and through experiencing your love, I have come to a better understanding of the love Jesus has for his church. You are my very best friend, and I can't imagine walking through this life with anyone else. I promise to always seek Christ first each and every day so that I can be filled and satisfied with his love, and then out of that overflow, I will be able to love you in the best way that I can. I desire to know all of you, and I would commit to always love all of you. I promise to be your partner in ministry, as we go through this life and to follow God wherever He may call us so that we can serve Him best and bring glory to Him in all that we do. I promise to always laugh with you. I promise to listen to every little detail you want to tell me about cars. And I promise to always encourage and respect you as a leader of our family. I will choose to love you every single day until the Lord returns or calls me home. Today is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And today is the easiest day in my whole life to rejoice.
For as much as you, Barrett Lee Townsend, and you, McKinley Joyce Rogers, have consented together in the covenant relationship, and you have witnessed the same before God and your family and friends, and thereto you have pledged your faith to one another, and have declared the same by the joining of hands, and the giving and the receiving of rings, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 19 says, What God has put together, let no man separate. Barrett, it is my honor to say to you, you can now kiss your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Barrett Townsend.